Now, I'm not sure this is much more. This is kind of a third full, but we had the circle in the last one that filled and then it filled over. I think it pumped pretty much the same. But there's a, a good way of testing this properly, isn't it? And we'll, let's just connect it up. Um, what would happen in the past, James, is it takes ages to start. Mm. So I'll connect the fuel there, turn it over. And uh, if it starts, we know some of the problems solved or all of the problems solved. So on the previous one, did it sort of like cut out halfway through? No, it never cut out once started. Okay. It just didn't like started. Okay. So we haven't put any fuel into there. So we are, yeah, so there's no fuel in that carb. I mean, it should have caught some. My theory on the last um, pump was that it was pumping less fuel. It was using a touch more fuel than it n could get. So we were draining the fuel and then the next day you'd come back and it would take ages to start. So let, let's see. So, let's see. It doesn't have a choke, does it? A what? A choke. Uh, no, it's automatic. Okay. And not connected, I think. Ah. Oh, actually, yeah, it is connected. Let's go again. Sounds to me like that carb's filling up. Start and run all day long. Okay. Never cut out. But the real test now is tomorrow. I'm going to leave it um, tomorrow in the morning. How easily does it start? Okay. That's the real test now. So, where we that that stays like that for now. Where are we over here? Heads on. Two bolts are in loosely to the side. I need the four head bolts to go on now. And um, soon I should be able to start this up. I gotta put that silly shielding on. I can't stand that shielding. It it really winds me up because it's so complex. But um, before I do anything else, yeah, I'm gonna be putting that shielding on in a minute. Now to get top dead center, the actual um, bottom end is uh, is flowing past the T sign. Okay, which happens sometimes. That means when I want to put it on T, which is here, I need to move it back a little bit and hold it there. Okay, because if I let go. It's moving and it's taking the piston just off top dead center. Now that's rare. That's rare. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. It's probably just a, an imbalance or something. But to keep it timed up properly, you'd either need to strap this at T, or um, or I'll just get you to hold it at the time. Okay. So the T is here, James. It says T. Yeah. And we're aiming this line with this line here. I see it. So so I can see at the moment it's a bit higher. So we'd go back, I think there, let me see. Ah, I've lost the piston, so actually, yeah. Yeah, so, at the, so in a bit, James, I'll say to you, line that to T as best as you can, and you'll go to about there, just, just line to line. Yeah. And then I'll set the um, top bed there, mate. Cool. Right. Do you know how to, um, how to get the top end at top dead center as well? Uh, you have to do it on the top dead center compression stroke, isn't it? Yeah, so that is the compression stroke, that's good. Um, how do you know what the compression stroke is? Uh, you push the top of the valves in to see if it's uh, moving. If, but we had the valves off, what's another way of telling? Oh, oh I, don't, I don't know. Another way of telling? Sweet. Um, compression stroke, the other way of telling is that when this head's off, you can see the piston, right? Yeah. On the non-compression stroke, the piston doesn't come up to the top. Okay. 
it's off the top. So anytime you're doing what I've just done, yeah. you would turn it, set it at T, and you'd see how much off the top it is, and then you turn it to the next T, and you'd notice that one's higher or that one's lower. Okay. You want the highest one. Gotcha. That's so we've done. I've done that already. Um, no, but I'm saying, how do you know where? So look, we've got our cog here. How do you know where top dead center is up here? Ooh, uh, I'm not sure. Cause like I said, the only way I know is like if you if you dip the valves down. That's how we know that the pistons are top dead center. Okay. How do you know how to set the valves to the bottom? I feel like I should know this, but I Come around and I'll show you. Camera's down here, so don't worry about that. Yeah, cool. Can we come in and show you? Yep. Most bikes are the same, James, right? Most of them use straight lines. On this wheel, there's a straight line under that nut, and here, there's a straight line. Can you see that line? Oh, you mark it off with the... Um... That line has to be in line with the body. Gotcha, yeah. And so that circle there should be pointing up, so it should be on this, this mark, so you'd be aiming for that. All right, let's see. So we want to wind it in, because we're resetting it now. Oh, yeah. now, they can be really temperamental, so to get it to stay in, look, you might not. You give it a bit of a bash. All right. So it, it's a bit temperamental, but it's not. Doesn't really matter. All you want is you want it like that, and then you want it in place. What if it pings out while you're um, sitting it in? I what I would do then is I would wind it back two or three, so I know it hasn't pinged out now. Okay because uh, no you'd, noise. You'd, you'd hear it. Okay. So look, if we'll give it a bit of a... Right, ready? Yep. Yeah, I hear it. There you go. Nice. And now, now look, you can feel it. That's not going anywhere. It's gone. Nice. Lift that up. Right, do the, do the first ones like this. Just put your hands over. Yep. And just tighten it like that. First one's in your cross pattern. Cool. That way you can't over talk them. Lovely. Sweet. Oh, just That's it. Cross over. Okay. Yeah. Remember, you, you build it up in pressure. Lovely. Do you want to do this one first or should I do that one? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Next, cross, cross over now, it doesn't matter. Cool. And then you go back around your same. Oops. Put that. Now keep the same grip, but put a bit more grip on it, go around the same pattern. Yeah, exactly. Or do we give it a spin, see where it goes, and just stick it there? That's an option, so we could, we could... Right, I'm going to switch this off. Guys, we're going to do the shielding now, and I get very angry with it, so I'm going to switch you off. So, I think everything up here is done and correct now. I'm not concerned about that. Um, so, let's get the exhaust on. I'm just going to show James that we loosely put the back end on, we loosely put the front end on, and then we nip it all up afterwards. Uh, with the exhaust studs, James, they can be a bit temperamental, so we just do it all a bit loose. We swing it in place, and we work it out. But actually, with two of us, it'll be a bit easier. Okay. So let me grab the exhaust, and actually, I'm going to give this a quick wipe down before I do any of that, and then we'll do that. Now, I'm not sure people really believe me, but I'm starting this up on camera. I haven't pressed the button. James, you can vouch for that. Yes. We do not know if this bike runs. All I'm gonna do is put the key in and turn it over. Now, predictions, I love my predictions. I think it will run. I think it will start, I think it will run. I can't see any reason why it won't. James, prediction? Is there a voltage in the battery for it to think? Good question, not sure. Okay. <laughs> um, but I'll get my booster if okay. needed. So apart from that, looking at what we've done today, because you've seen the top end go back together. Yeah. Quite quick. Very quick. Quite easy. Possibly one tooth out on the timing, isn't it? That's the only thing it could be. Possibly so far, yeah. Yeah. And what you might find if you're one tooth out is it'll probably start. It won't rev. Okay, because I'm one tooth. If you're one tooth out, you'll probably start, but you won't rev very well. Yeah. But I, I think this isn't one too far. I think this is going to start and rev. Because we did twist it a bit as well. I think we're spot on. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. Let me get the key. Ignition's bad. I know the ignition's bad. The ignition issue, look. So that has done it. But if you wiggle it, look. 
Oh, you can't tell? Yeah, so that's it's a bit, bit risky. So it hasn't used them? Yeah, exactly. Okay. But I don't know if it's easy as bowling it up. Ready? Uh, I think so, Wally. Now, I think that would have started already. You know what? Spot plug's not in. Oh, hello. Ah, <laughs> well, always good to uh, warm it up. Definitely fuel in the cylinder now. What? Definitely fuel in the cylinder now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Yes. I don't like that, it's pushing it out. Sounded to me like the choke was on and then went off quickly. Yeah. Also, there's a blow in the exhaust. You can hear that the exhaust is blowing. Kind of, yeah. But this EGR valve is not nicked up, so it might be that. There might be air coming out of there. Okay. If it revs up, then the rest is about tomorrow. It's about that. Making sure the exhaust is sealed. Yeah. Making sure that's bolted so it's not letting out air. Sure, Let's see. We were even hearing an exhaust blow there, but look, we haven't got this tube connected. We haven't got that bolted up, the EGR recirculation valve, so we're going to be hearing the engine from there. We'd have to do them two first, seal them first, and then we may have a blow on the exhaust okay. from a gasket or something. Um, probably not, though. Is it worth doing them on now and then trying again? You know what? I'm wrapping up now. Okay. I'm, I'm very happy that the engine part's done. Yeah. Now, tomorrow, I will enjoy thoroughly putting this back together. Cool. Because that's the fun part. Um, nipping, tucking, polishing, back together. Uh, yeah. So this was a non mono mate. Ah. Uh, very, very pleased with that. I didn't want to mess too much. DJR valve's not bolted down. The exhaust isn't properly bolted on. We needed to see if it kicked over. Um, that's it. Happy with that. Very happy with that. So... Um, I do have a battery for that, it's in the 250, I should take that home and charge it. And then I need to decide if that ignition is enough of an issue, James, to mess with. Well, it it kind of did its job. Yeah. Uh, you know what we need to know? If it, if it doesn't start, if I jiggle it, does it cut out? That's what we need to know. So that's on now, yeah? Yeah. Ah, so we do need to. So it does, because if you're driving along, you hit a bump and it goes, you lose your engine, it's dangerous. Yes. Um, um, thanks for your help. You actually, you actually do know what you're doing, it's helpful. Yeah. Um, I can tell in discussions. That, um, like I said, that is helpful. Um, yeah. And if you ever decide you want to do a project on your own, we'll get you a project. Yes, please. Um, I, guess, I guess you'll have to uh, not mind being filmed a little bit for your own one. Honestly, I don't mind. But all profits will be yours, mate. I'll help you through it. All profits will be yours.